guys, this is Austin with Renowned Cargo Trailers. We're here on the lot of Renowned Cargo Trailers right off the Bowen Snow Highway in Douglas, Georgia. Um, today I'm just going to be taking you over an eight and a half by 20 charcoal gray that we do have available. Um, we're selling it. What it was used for, it was going to be used for a parking lot striping trailer. However, it can be used for a bunch of different things. It's got so many upgrades. Just trying to get it out there for one of you guys to buy it. All right, so here we go. What it is is eight and a half by 20 charcoal gray. It has 030 metal skin, the blackout special, ATP front wrap corners, but blackout special, you know it's got everything. It's got all your black trimming, your bar locks, door hasp, everything's black instead of silver. Also on this trailer, they did 24 inch ATP on the sides and rear. Whenever we get right here, you can see it a little bit better. 7,000 pound eight lug alloy wheels. Those are torsion axles under it. Like I said, the 24 inch ATP goes all the way down the side, just a little bit more protecting it from rocks and stuff that may throw up onto your trailer. On this trailer, he did a double side door. Now with this double side door, if you'll notice something, most of our eight and a half wides come with something called a step well. Normally there's a step right here. This trailer don't have it. So what reason for, we have a double side door here. This side opens up with just a pull of the pin. And now we have a 60 inch open. You know your pallets are most of the time 48. So you can actually stick a pallet up in here with a forklift and set it down. Cause we ain't got that step well in the way making us not be able to. So these are double doors. It is a 60 by 78 double door. It has a seven foot interior height. Also on this trailer, we have an awning. This awning, I believe is uh, 18 foot, 16 foot, something of that nature. It's all electric. We don't offer any manual awning. It's a domatic, the best of the best. That's what's on them big, nice RVs you see. All right, come on down this way. This trailer does have the blackout special. And as all y'all know, the blackout special includes your aluminum sidewall vent. So it does have them on there. We also made your flap a little bit more durable. So you have an ATP covered flap. Make, it gives a little bit better than just straight plywood. This is a super duty ramp door rated for 6,300 pounds rotating weight. So it does have a heavy duty ramp door here. As well as it will have some jacks. You can always turn that into a porch, have a little patio. Like I said, this trailer can be used for anything, not just necessarily parking lot striping. It can be used for anything. And up here on the top, we have two loading lights. Now, around this trailer, whenever we go around, you'll see some video of it. They're all the way around. Two on the driver, two on the passenger, two on the rear, one up front. This trailer will literally light up anything that's around, the whole area, all right? So when you walk in here, we did omit the beaver tail, so it's a flat floor throughout. You do not have a beaver tail. So for you guys, you know, pulling pallets, pulling dollies, stuff like that, it's perfect for you. Um, also, you'll notice we have E-Track. There's three rows on each wall for you movers, you know, um, refrigerators, stuff of that nature, strapped to the wall, doors, a good door trailer, window trailer. This is it, all right? So when you come on in, as Miss Laura showed you, we do have a steel transition flap down there at the bottom. And if you'll notice, when you look up a little, at the bottom of this trailer, we have a 12 inch ATP kick plate. So it just gives you a little bit more durability whenever you hit your walls, no breaking or chipping of the plywood, as well as we covered the fender wells in ATP as well. Just give it a nice clean look. On the floor of this trailer, it is a 12 inch on center cross member. So it's a heavy duty trailer. All right. It has a couple roof vents in it. It has a total of three. The roof vents on the top, it does have a max airflow cover. So you can go down the road with these vents up. You don't have to worry about it raining or leaking in because it does have a max airflow cover. There's three of them. Also on this trailer, we have an electrical package, all right? So basically electrical package, this is my panel. I have a total of two 110 LED lights in the roof. I have a total of Let's see here. I have a total of two recepts. He put them right here on this front wall. Good for charging batteries, you know, doing anything you need up here, charging your drills, whatever you want to do with this trailer. On the bottom of it, like I was telling you, we have them lights. What this is, this is two recessed battery compartments. Got a battery wired in there with a trickle charge to your truck. So it will charge when you're going down the road. And there's two of them. That is the power you're awning as well as all them lights on the outside I was telling you about that's going to light up everything. Right here, like I said, y'all, this trailer has this trailer has a bunch of stuff, okay? Right here is a recessed tire compartment. So you can put your spare tire in here. If you have straps and you don't, you put spare tire in the back of your truck, you put straps, you put anything you want in here. It's just a nice little storage area. This trailer also comes with four D-rings on the floor. And if you'll jump to this side with me, we actually have a five foot ramp on the side. Got so much stuff. On the bottom of that ramp as well, it's got an ATP or well, you know, ATP little flap down there, transition flap from the floor to the ramp, just give it a little bit more durability, as well as we got another transition flap here. Like I said, your dollies and stuff, there's not a hole that you're gonna fall into. Um, this trailer is fully equipped, you guys. It looks nice in here. 
E-Track all the way around it. We have some 12 volt dome lights on the ceiling, 12 volt bar lights outside. It can be used for anything. Like I said, this man was gonna do it for a striping trailer, but as you can see, we can do a bunch of stuff with it. We got a bunch of different add-ons. Um, this trailer is for sale. If you want to, we'll take you outside and just look around a little bit more, maybe a little bit more talking. All right, you guys, so on the back of this door right here, one thing that the customer wanted, he wanted dual tail lights and as well as reverse lights. And any of you people ordering trailers, also know we can do little upgrades that go a long ways. If you're getting one built, little, small, cheap upgrades go a long way. So on this one, you actually got dual tail lights here as well as you have a reverse light on the bottom. All right, so it just gives you a little bit more light. People can see you at night. They won't run into the back of you going down the interstate on a busy highway, um, as well as reverse lights. When you're backing up, it's not just pitch black behind your trailer. Come to this side, you can really see the two lights up top on this side because the awning's not in the way of it, but you have two lights. Like I said, there's two on this side, two on the other side, two on the rear, one in the front. So it's gonna be completely lit up at night if you want it to be. Well, as I was telling you about the dual tail lights, little features go a long ways. We also put some extra LED marker lights on this trailer as well, up there on the top. So if you're going down the interstate, semi going to get over, he can actually see you. You know, he's aware that you're there. So that always helps as well. $10 a piece goes a long way, all right? Back up here to the front. All right, so what we got here, this is an extended tongue. It's a triple tube tongue, 60 inches. You have 60 inch draw bars. It's heavy duty, all right? Instead of having your regular 48 inch tongue with just an actual straight V, this is a triple tube. Adds more structural stability with that middle tube. On the front of this trailer, he wanted to do an adjustable coupler. Now what you see here is a pencil eye. With that being said, the coupler he was doing is an airbag coupler. I have it inside sitting there on my desk if you do want to add it on. All right, it's about a $750 charge, but what it is, it's just an airbag. It allows a little bit better flow. It doesn't put all the weight on your truck. So this comes off and you can put any attachment on here you want. It doesn't have to be a pencil eye. You can put a coupler, an airbag coupler. It doesn't matter. Also, we have a Bulldog top wine jack here. It's just a little bit more heavy duty of a jack. Uh, this allows you to hold more weight into the front of the trailer. All right, you guys. So like I said, this trailer is available on the ground. You can get a hold of any of my sales rep here. We have a plenty of them to talk to. Now, you can reach us at 888-287-3954. Also, remember, check out our YouTube channel, uh, Renowned Cargo Trailers on YouTube. Check out all the videos as well as we have a TikTok. We have a Facebook. We have an Instagram. Check us all out. Also, reach us on www.renownedcargotrailers.com. You can check out, see kind of what our prices look like, check a little bit about our information on there. And as always, you guys be blessed.